This video is a companion to the 25 minute upper body with back row focus max strength sets. This video will go over proper back row techniques, including leg stands, back row variations and execution, and muscles activated. We'll start off by going over stance variations, followed by two back row variations and execution, and ending with muscle activation. Let's go ahead and get started with stance variations. For these first two stance variations, you will need a bench, chair, exercise box, or something in which you can hold onto for support. The first stance option is doing a row with the same side hand and knee on the bench for support. For this stance, place one hand on the bench and place the same side knee on the bench. Bend over so that that side is in a very slight slanted back tabletop form on the bench. Keep the spine neutral and pull your tummy in to engage the core and protect the low back. The arm on the bench can be positioned so that the shoulders align with the wrist, or it can be slightly slanted forward if that is more comfortable and better supports you. The free arm that is not on the bench will be holding the dumbbell to do that row. The arm's shoulders should be hanging down straight with shoulders aligned with wrists. Furthermore, the leg on the floor should be slightly bent at the knee. This is a starting position for the stance variation. The next variation is a bent over split stance variation with one hand on the bench. So facing the bench and stepping a few inches away from it, step one foot forward or back a few inches away from each other. This is your split stance. Next, tilt over without rounding the back to bring one hand to the bench. The arm with the hand on the bench will be slanted so it should form a diagonal line from wrist to shoulder. The free hand is hanging straight down. In this position, the spine should be neutral, tummy pulled in to engage the core and protect the low back, and knees are slightly bent. This is the starting position for this split stance variation. The next variation is another split stance variation, but without a bench. Starting upright with feet together, step one leg back. Bend the front leg while keeping the back leg extended. Keeping the spine neutral and tummy pulled in, Tilt the upper body slightly forward so that your upper body forms a diagonal line from spine to the back leg. The arm that is on the side of the leg that is up front can be placed on the thigh of the front leg to add greater support. Either the hand or forearm can be on it. The free hand is hanging straight down. This is a starting position for the split stance variation without a bench. The fourth variation is an unsupported bent over stance, which is the most common stance to do when doing rows with both arms at the same time. With feet close or about hip width distance apart, bent over to come down to no more than a 90 degree angle. How far you bend over depends on your flexibility, comfort, and the amount of weight being lifted. As with the previous stances, the spine is neutral, tummy is pulled in to engage the core and protect the low back, and the knees are slightly bent. In this stance, both arms hang to the sides, prepared for those rows. This stance is usually best for doing two arm rows or alternating rows. You can still do a one arm row in this stance, but the amount of weight you can lift will be limited, since your core will be working hard to stabilize and not lose form. The last stance variation is a tabletop stance on the floor. While this isn't the most ideal form to be in for max strength sets, since it limits your range of motion and significantly limits how much you can lift from this position, it's still good to go over it in case you're not interested in lifting very heavy at this point or you just want a better option for the moment for whatever reason that may be. For this variation, come down to the floor with hands and knees on the floor in tabletop form. Depending on what row variation you'll be doing, the arm that will row will be either slightly forward or straight down with shoulders and wrists aligned. The arm that is on the floor and will not row at this time, its shoulders and wrists can be aligned straight down or can be slightly forward as well if that offers greater support. You can stay in this tabletop form to do the rows, or you can step one leg back while keeping the other in position. In this position, you'll do the rows with the hand that is opposite of the extended leg. I find that this position offers greater stabilization and support than having both knees bent in a tabletop form. In this next segment, we'll go over two different row variations. Since in the companion workout video, I do a regular narrow grip row, I will go over that first. However, I will also go over the wide grip row in case you are interested in doing that one. You can do both of these variations with any of the stances mentioned previously. The way you pull the dumbbell back and up for that row motion for any row variation is very similar among all the stances. For the purpose of this video, I will demonstrate both row variations with the hand and knee supported on a bench. 
Let's get started with a neutral grip row. With one hand and knee on the bench, spine neutral and core engaged, grip the dumbbell with the free hand and position your hands so that your hand is close to your side with knuckles facing the outer part. This is your neutral grip to do a narrow row. Roll the shoulder back and down, retracting it. From here, bend at the elbow to pull the elbow back and up. Pull up as far as the elbow can go without rotating your torso. Usually this means you pull up just until the dumbbell reaches the lower part of your rib cage. Without losing that retraction at the shoulder, lower down to the starting position. Make sure that as you pull the dumbbell up, you're not letting the spine arch or round, and make sure that you're not jerking the dumbbell up that it causes the elbow to sway to the side or causes the torso to rotate. For a proper neutral grip row, the elbow should stay close to the body and be pointing straight up at that top range of the motion. Next up is the execution for the wide grip row. With one hand and knee on the bench, spine neutral and core engaged, grip the dumbbell with the free hand and position your hand so that the knuckles are facing the front. This is your wide grip. Roll the shoulder back and down, retracting it. From here, bend at the elbow to pull the elbow back and up. Elbows should flare out to the sides and back. Pull up as far as the elbow can go without rotating your torso. Usually this means you pull up just until the dumbbell comes up to the height of the upper part of the abdominals. Keeping the shoulder retracted, lower back to the starting position. Both of these variations are great to do in having your workout rotation. A neutral grip row targets the latissimus dorsi muscle, which covers the width of the middle and low back. It is a row variation that allows for greater strength gains because of your ability to lift heavier with a neutral grip row versus a wide row. On the other hand, the wide grip row targets the traps, rhomboids, and deltoids, which comprise the upper back. While the amount of weight you may be able to lift with a wide row may be less than the neutral grip row, the Y row is a great exercise to improve posture. Whichever row variation you plan to do, make sure to have proper form in mind and make sure that your back muscles are working. You should feel the back muscles contracting at the top range of the motion for any of these row variations. To practice your row technique, or if you're looking to increase your row strength or both, do the 25 minute upper body strengthening workout with back focused max strength sets. The ties in with this video in which you can find this channel right next to this video. It is an expertly created workout that puts into practice row tips and forms demonstrated in this video while adding in other upper body exercises to work out the whole upper body. For the max strength focus sets, choose the stance and row variation that best suits you, your mobility, and your individual goals. So make sure to check it out. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.